The first thing we need to touch on is the two different types of networks, which will be a workgroup and a domain. When you install your operating system, your computer automatically becomes a member of a workgroup. What I'm going to do on my Windows 10 machine is open Control Panel. In Control Panel, I'm going to open my system that shows up here. And you'll see in System, under this Computer Name, Domain, and Workgroup settings, it has the name of my computer, and it has Workgroup named Workgroup. So anytime you install a new operating system, whether it's a client like Windows 7 or Windows 10, or even if it's a server operating system, but default when you install the operating system, it automatically joins a workgroup. Now, what I can do, if I want this computer to be a member of a larger network, a domain, over here on Change Settings, there is an option to rename this computer or change its domain name or workgroup. Well, if I were to do that and click change, I could specify that I want this computer to be a member of a domain. Now, weirdly, there's another way to do this as well here. It says right above, to use a wizard to join a domain or workgroup, click the network ID. End result is the same. This will just give you a wizard. Uh, this is a home computer, not part of a business network. This computer is part of a business network and I use it to connect to other computers at work. So just a little more user-friendly terminology. If I select next for that, it says, is your company network on a domain? I say my company uses the network with a domain or without a domain. I'm gonna leave it on with a domain and click next. Now it says, if you wanna join the domain, you need the following information. You need your credentials. You need the name of the domain you wanna join. If you have all that, you can join the domain. I'm going to click cancel for that. Now, if we go back to change settings here, if you were to click change here, you get the same exact end result. You just select domain, type in the name of your domain. When you click OK, it's going to automatically prompt you for the username and password uh, for credentials that can be used to join the domain. Enter that. Assuming that is correct, you'll just get a pop up that says welcome to the domain and it will tell you that you need to reboot your computer. So those are the two types of networks. Either your computer is a member of a work group, like your home computers would be members of a work group, or your computer is a member of a domain. Well, what we need to do is actually define those terms so we know exactly the characteristics of a work group and a domain.